happy Valentine's for those who are celebrating it. Um, I did a new mind map about my mind. Whoa. So here we go. I have had. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it? This is a kind of a cool. Um, like a. You can have parties here and whatnot. Where is it? Here's my new mind map today. And the one I'm comparing it to is here. So I made the mime, I made the video about uh, brain, big muscle, what does it need, spiritual guest, blah, 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 blah. So you can check out, out that video. And then, because uh, putting it in a mind map, in an understandable form where you can visually see that that helps your brain to understand what going what's going on in your brain and that helps you reduce anxiety because we want to reduce anxiety right everything i do is find ways to reduce anxiety because um, in the last couple of years I had a really interesting conversation. Uh, I love those stimulating conversations. Big part of my um, everything. Big part of what I need. How I develop. How my brain uh, has uh, stimulants or stimuli. Um, we had a good conversation. I was asking in a in a, a Facebook group. Uh, if people have experience in positive disintegration, Dabrowski's theory. And someone told me that uh, he's uh, thinking whether he has this thing going on because um, his parents passed away six months from each other and after that he got, uh, he found out he has autism and he found out also he has an IQ of 150 and that was such a big uh, misconception in his head, he didn't think of himself as an intellectual or intel intelligent person, so that uh, got him into a big identity crisis and sure enough after my dad passed away I also had an <laughs> sorry yeah so I also had this identity crisis which was by the way my third and what Dabrowski is saying is that we are doing this positive disintegration and you can have many rounds and you can have those levels simultaneously I may have a couple of levels because I still want to troll, I still want to joke around, I still want to push the envelope because pushing the envelope is the very thing that your brain requires but you have to learn to do it in a constructive way so yeah um, and then uh, YouTube was kind enough to offer me a video of a 32 year old uh, youngish lady who uh, has uh, figured this same thing out and is clearly in the process herself. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, watching her uh, video about um, newer hypersensitivity. I'm sorry, maybe I get this terminology now wrong. But she was saying she always thought there was something wrong with her. And when she found out about this theory, just like myself, then her questions got answers. Then suddenly there was an answer to all of it. And that's really the beauty of it. Uh, I know that it's just one theory among other uh, many others, but um, um, this was one year, or this was I'm explaining this whole thing in my blog. Uh, first was nature, then na uh, closest people. Then philosophical groups. Oh no, then music. Then philosophical philosophical groups. And someone there told me, like, have you heard of this theory? And voila, it was like everything made so much sense. And I was able to uh, put it in a positive uh, perspective, put it in a positive mindset and aspect in my mind. My whole. I'm not. A person with a default I'm a person who has a purpose there's a big, big difference between these two stories um, and so in my mind map today 
I'm writing two big things are stimuli, 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 and release. Where's release? Yeah. So because you need, you absolutely, absolutely need stimuli for new insights, like I'm doing now, um, and for thinking development, and just to kind of get your brain. Your brain needs this kind of tickle. It's tickling your brain. Um, and intellectual conversations. All of those are stimuli. And uh, essentially what is, oh, I, I almost forgot, a reaction. So you're having the stimuli itself is the reaction you are getting from the people that you are having interactions with. It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative, ENCP. Mm. <laughs> and then release. Because um, with this uh, autistic guy, uh, or no, there was someone else who said that uh, people with higher IQ, they can end up, like super high IQ, they can end up running away constantly from their brain. And I have got to thinking like, I started thinking whether that is actually um, the case, I don't know, with my dad, maybe. Um, just being in solitude, uh, being a lot in the nature, having constant new projects, having constant stimuli and having constant release. Because nature, um, animals, acceptance of your partner and friends, and most importantly, self acceptance because if we don't accept this part of ourselves this buzzing brain uh, and if we are trying to run away from it this is uh, inner friction that is too much for your it's like a steam engine and if it doesn't get a uh, release it will explode like I've done a couple of times um, and with the release you don't have to run away from your mind and have sub substitute behavior which are not good for you and uh, running away from reality is is a common substitute behavior when reality gets too complicated and all of these things are ways to do less running away from reality and live a little bit more uh, and then I have one more arrow to love language I have done the test now three times one year ago, uh, six months ago, and now, and uh, that is a clear sign of healing that my um, act of service is still the biggest, like it was one year ago, but now I have a second biggest one, uh, uh, physical touch and uh, words of affirmation. So physical touch is coming up, which is a sign of healthy healthy approach to your body and healthy approach to physical touch and being close to someone. That's a, that's a basic human need. Um, and because uh, I have written here, acts of service, oops, my diary, <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, acts of service is exactly releasing pressure. So, um, Things that someone else does for you, cooks, cleans, base bills, anything like this that uh, can easily become a burden. How anxiety works is that you know you have to do X, Y, Z and you postpone it, you procrastinate and then that thing kind of goes away. I should have still definitely sent this phone back. Did I? No, I didn't. And now the warranty has released and it's completely useless phone and I'm blaming myself for it. This is a stupid whole uh, we could have whole, completely avoided this whole situation so every time you are anxious you have the first thing you ask yourself have i eaten today have i written 10 things i like about myself in the diary and have i walked outside have i uh, got fresh air and have i had kind of a release for my for my brain but most importantly do i have my basic things in order and am I doing things right in the physical world, not in your head? So uh, best way to avoid anxiety is to come off your head to the real world. 
as difficult as it might be. Okay, have a nice one. Bye-bye.